What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you like something you see here today, at some point in this video, please don't forget to subscribe. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, I had something come in recently. I haven't really shown it on the video. I've been doing some testing, and I thought today would be a good day to discuss it. It's the newest, well, yeah, until the new one comes out, it's the newest release from 2019 from Guerlain, the Loam EDL line. It's cool. Replaced the ever so famous Cologne. Today they battle. Let's see which one's better. Stay tuned. So Guerlain Loam Ideal Cool. I gotta say, this is not the easiest fragrance to get a hold of. A lot of what you're having to do is coming from overseas. I actually did get this as a partial. It was missing a few sprays, maybe. I've put a little bit of a dent in it, and there was a little bit of a dent already. I've worn it twice now. It's actually my scent of the day. So I could really give you my full thoughts on it versus the extremely popular, everybody's favorite and discontinued Guerlain Loam Ideal Cool that it has replaced. And I gotta say, let's get into these note breakdowns and then we'll discuss the differences. The Guerlain Loam Ideal Cool was released in 2019 and is classified as an aromatic fougere. The notes are as follows. On the top, you're looking at lime, orange, mint, and anise. In the mid, you're looking at almond, water notes, and neroli. And on the base, you're looking at vetiver, patchouli, and ambroxan. And I gotta say, it's a very, very good scent. It's very minty, to say the least. So let's take a look at the note breakdowns on Guerlain Loam Ideal Cool. Guerlain Loam Ideal Cool was released in 2015. It's classified as a woody aromatic, and the note breakdowns are as follows on it. On the top, you're looking at orange, bergamot, grapefruit, and pink pepper. In the mid, you're looking at almond and neroli. And on the base, you're looking at vetiver and musk. So, right off the bat, I'll tell you, cool, it definitely does have a mintiness to it. Not a toothpaste mintiness, kind of like a... I don't know how many of you are going to get this that have tried it. Think mint chocolate chip ice cream, that type of green mintiness that's not, it's fresh, it's a little on the synthetic side, but it's not toothpaste type of minty where it's super minty spearmint fresh. It's not that type of mint. It's actually quite pleasant. Have the dry down right here. So picture adding mint, taking away the orange and the grapefruit. You tone down the citrus drastically. And then I don't really get a whole lot of watery notes. You do get some vetiver. I never detect any ambroxan. Basically, it's the base that's here, the heart and base, with mint on the top versus the heavy citrus, grapefruit, and orange opening. Because I get a lot of grapefruit and orange in Cologne. In this, you dial that back drastically because there's only one citrus note in here. And you add the mintiness. The mintiness stays throughout the life. You do get a little bit of bitter almond once you hit the heart, and that stays throughout. The mint and the almond stay for a very long time, and a lot of vetiver, I find. The, the dry downs aren't drastically different on these versus if this had a minty dry down, a slightly minty dry down, it's pretty much the same. Now, in terms of longevity, this is where we got to start separating the two because I get between six and seven hours on this one. I get between five and six hours on this one. So the longevity does take a little bit of a hit. Projection does take a tad bit of a hit as well. It's not a huge difference. It's still, I mean, we're five and a half hours in. See how far away from my skin I am. I'm still smelling it very easily coming off of my skin. So it hasn't become a skin scent yet. In about 30 minutes it will, uh, based off of my first wearing. And it's looking like it's gonna be about the same here. I'm looking at six hours on this, whereas I typically get about seven with this one. And the projection is what and what. This is a little bit brighter in the opening, a little bit more volatile compounds with the heavy citrus up top. So it does project a little more in the opening, but they kind of stay in the same realm as far as the duration and life of the fragrance you get a similar type of scent trail and scent bubble from them on projection. It's very moderate to low. Not low, not moderate, kind of in between with moderate to low. People will be able to smell you when you walk by. So, price. So this is still fetching a pretty penny. This was $53 for a parcel, and when I say parcel, it was missing eight to 10 sprays maybe. $53 was the cheapest I could find it 
used and sprayed full presentation everything checked out it's legit versus you can find these 100 mls in the 30 dollar range 50 mls in the 20 dollar range even though it's discontinued they're still pretty easy to get a hold of so price versus performance you're definitely better off looking at loam edial cool my overall assessment between the two I believe if cool was, I mean, uh, cologne was to not get discontinued, they could run side by side because this doesn't just strike me as a super duper high heat summertime fragrance, whereas this one does. This is spring and summer, early fall. This is still spring, summer, early fall, but this is maybe more summer evenings or those days that aren't in my area over 100 degrees, which is most days during the summer. I would say you can get away with more occasions with this one, and this one's a bit more casual than cool is i think flanker to flanker they could stay in the line together i don't really believe this replaces this because there's there's still different fragrances in my mind because this is so heavy citrus and this is mint dominant with that almond signature so which one do i think you should buy stick to cologne they're still easy to get they're still cheap now don't get me wrong if they produce this one long enough it's going to hit these discounters and it's going to get a lot more affordable. I don't know if it'll stay in the realm of how much sport is, which is the mid 40s at discounters. But if it gets anywhere even close to the $30 range that this 100 ml goes for, then yeah, everybody's going to buy this up and this is going to be the next wave of talked about from the line. But for now, the easy answer is stick with this one because it's the correct answer. That's why the answer is so easy. But I do believe it warrants having them both. Don't think if you have this and a backup bottle of this that oh, I'm not going to need that. Once you try this, if you like this one, you'll definitely like cool. So that's my assessment. Maybe not necessarily the battle you were looking for, but it is my honest opinions on everything. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this one already? I got to say, I'm enjoying it. I really am. I'm very, very glad I got it. I was a little nervous at first that it was going to be too similar to this, but I don't find they're that similar. They are, but they have their differences. They're not the same fragrance. It is not redundant, in my opinion, to own both of these. And if you love this one, you'll love this one, as far as I'm concerned. And until next time, I will say, if you get either one, you can give them a spray now. It's a real good chance you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.